Yeah, east side up, whānau. We're going to have a blat on Uncle Wazy's barbecue ribs, east side style. I got me a um, rack of ribs. They're quite cheap if you go to your local butchers, fams. Straight up, get you a rack of ribs. So yeah, we're going to get at this. She's defrosted. First things first. Some people, if you got a um, smoker or whatever, you want to cook it as a whole rack, then that's up to you. But me, I'm going to chop them into individual ones so I can get seasoning over each rib. So yeah, I'm going to cut this off. And I'm just going to follow the ribs. It's easy as, just cut on the meat. Bang. Done. Next one. Done. I'll get back to you when I'm on the seasoning so the video don't take too long. True fam, so I got my chops all, oh, my ribs all cut up. East side up. I'm going to start seasoning them now. Bit of a rub. Just salt and pepper first. I love the grinded one, the one you grind yourself. It's got rock salt and black pepper in it. Pretty good. I want to season those pretty hard up. Yeah. Smoke pack brika fano. This is a key. It gives it the smoky flavor, the barbecuey flavor. So you gotta have smoked paprika straight up. I want that on there too. That's what makes it taste like a barbecue is that smoked paprika. Be generous as with that. So salt, pepper and paprika fams. That's what I've got on there thus far. Get it all over them. Yeah. Just found my, my garlic powder. I want some garlic on there as well. Onion powder, so I'm going to chuck a little bit of onion powder on there as well. Here we go. And I'm just going to rub that in, make sure that each rib gets rubbed in. Of course you've washed your hands before you started, but yeah, you want to make sure it's covered in the, all that rub. You know, each rib. It should go orangey colour because of the paprika. Yeah, I'll be back. Hold up. Yeah, back again. We're at the frying pan, so we've rubbed all our chops in that smoked paprika, um, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. That's what they look like. They're fully coated. I'm just going to shallow fry them in a frying pan to get them golden. So yeah, I'm going to get these golden in here like searing them. It'll help keep them juicy too because they're going to get slow cooked. You're going to get all your colour from here. You know the colour on your chomp, on your ribs. I keep calling them bloody chomp. But yeah. I had a nice big pan so I can do a few at a time. Yeah, and just get them golden brown. And then chuck them up with another dish here. I'm going to chuck them into that and show you the next part. But yep, frying them. Peace. Too far to eat stuff. So my, um... Ribs are pretty much golden brown from searing them in the old fit. So I'm just going to take them out and then put them into my tray. And then I'm going to start with the sauce. The sauce is pretty much the key to how to make these real yummy. So you got all your colour there. You know, they're nice and golden. There you go. And jam them into my tray. Turn that off. Then I'm gonna use some soy sauce. Oh 
actually put the tray over here so you can see what I'm putting in it. Some soy sauce. Just all over the top of those. Yes, yes, I could have used um, brown sugar or honey, but I've got none, so I'm using white sugar. Okay. Then I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top of them. It's going to sprinkle a bit of white sugar over the top. That's going to caramelize and make it a bit sticky. So I've covered them with sugar as well. Here's the secret barbecue sauce, the smoky one. You can even get a hickory flavored one that's really good. So I'm gonna really go, go for gold on that. I wanna smother them in that sauce. Get it all over them, don't be shy. Yeah. And then, about three quarters of a cup of um, chicken stock. I'm just going to chuck a bit at the bottom of my pan. Yeah, it's going to stop them drying up. Then I'm going to cover them with tin foil. I'm going to fully cover it and jam it in the oven for about 45 minutes at 200 degrees. So yeah, I'll get back to you. They're going to have a bit of a slow cook in the oven for about 45 minutes. 40 minutes to 45 minutes. We're back. Just pulled it out the oven. I'm going to give it a bit of a stir around. It's been 45 minutes. They're looking good. Hot airs, everything's steaming. I'm just going to turn them around. Yeah. Now that I've got them flipped over, I'm just going to give them a little coat with the old barbecue sauce one more time. There we go, don't be stingy, everyone loves the barbecue sauce. And then I'm going to put it back in the oven, still on 200 degrees, and I'm just going to leave it uncovered now so that the sauce thickens. Yeah. So here it is, fans, 10 minutes after being uncovered, left uncovered in the oven. Yeah. Sauce has gotten a lot thicker. My ribs are good to go. I'm gonna plate this up and show you what it looks like. But yeah, Uncle Way's easy, easy barbecue ribs. He's stuck. Yeah, and there's the final product, fans. Uncle Way's easy barbecue ribs. There you go. I did a surf and turf. I'm gonna add a little bit of um. Cracked pepper, tri triple um. Cheese that's nice with our salad over here. I got some garlic butter over there to go with my um, southern style prawns. And the barbecue ribs just garnished with a bit of parsley, fam. Straight up, she's good to go. East side up, I got my cousin down, so um, she's eating for two. And yeah, that's us, she's gonna munch out. East up, fam. Yeah.